Hey, what is up, people? It is your boy Johnny, and today we're going to continue our Pokemon Legend RCS adventure. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to calm this Pokemon down that's been frenzied. So let's go ahead and do it. Are you ready, Johnny? Yes, I am ready. Johnny, please do your please do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He may have finally become a lord, but it's clear that this frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Be on your guard, the late Lord Arcanine would launch devastating attacks after standing still and gathering the light around him. Remember that while your dodging moves will slip right by you. Good luck. I think I kind of messed up. I think I had to heal my Pokemon first. I don't know if the lava is going to affect me. There's a bunch of lava around there. Kinda messed up there though. Alright, that one was actually pretty hard, but um, I think he will be easy to defeat. Why did it say continue battle or restart battle? Level 36. Probably gonna take out Snorlax.
Gotta be careful. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. But not impossible. Wow, we can actually evolve our Typhlosion and as well as our Staravai. Oh look, the strange light has left Arcanine and is vanishing to the space-time rift. You see the flame plate from Arcanine. What could possibly lie on the other side of the rift, I wonder? Yeah. What was that two different Arcanized cries just now? Oh, well, now I understand. My little growl of, oh no, I misspoke, Lord of the Island Arcanine. You and I must not live apart so that we may attend our separate duties. Now, now, all will be well. You're strong. Far stronger than me, in fact. From now on, let us each strive to fulfill our duties as lords and warden. Now go, Lord Arcanine. Your realm awaits. Um, was I the only one who felt like they heard the cry of the previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, odd. I certainly didn't. Please, I hope. Who hope you're joking? I'm easily scared as it is. What am I to do if I start hearing the cries of the ghosts all the time? No need to worry. I scan. I only kid. I also heard the voice of the previous Lord calling out to us. It seems I wasn't the only one watching over his young pup this whole time. Johnny, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one, the new Lord Arcanine. I'm sorry to ask even more of you, but please look after Irida as well. Now then, Iskan, I believe we best be off. Johnny, I wasn't much just used to just watching from the side, was I? You know when Lena wouldn't rise... Raised Growlithe to be the new lord, and people in our clan were doubting her fitness as a warden. I urged her to put Growlithe through the proper training, but she snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. Is it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through the training? Those words left me with much to consider. And even when Arcanine became lord of the isles and grew finalized, all I could do is watch. What about the bombs? Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bomb, something you could have done without me. Is that praise worthy? Do I deserve to be recognized for such slight contribution? I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan, so young with no grand vision for what it should be. I still try to respect our old customs and sites, even some called me old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see I know that what I want to do. In Husi, I want to protect the vast land of Husi. Grab me another battle someday, Johnny. I want to battle alongside my partner so we can grow strong enough to be of a help to you and to more than the horizons of the world, I see. Looks like I got leadness to thank you for yet another lesson that I learned. I should let her know and hear me more about the relationship with Warden Iskan, where I'm at. Here's what we part for now, Johnny. I need to get off this oven of an island.
I oh, see you made some new observation. Let's have a look then. Hmm, I see most of Maloon. I'll update our Porkadex with this new data. Have you quelled the new Lord Arcanine? Oh, let's tell Commander Kamado the good news then, shall we? Back to Jubilee life we go. Now, before you buy a wheat tree, lend me your ear for a moment, would you, lad? I came up with a new tree using candy trussel, but it's caused me nothing but sorrow. Every last person who tries to set it is beyond saving. A complete disaster. Utterly terrible. I had to shell this new creation, and there it remains in a salty puddle of my bitter tears. I'll likely never see the light of day again. It seems like I'll never be able to pull a profit from my creation, but at least I'd like to share my recipe with some of them, less to be forgotten. You like making things with your own hands, don't you? I could share my recipe with you. I got a plenty of candy truffles to spare, but you'll need to bring a soup food, root, and springy mushroom, and hoppo berry. Got that? You did well on your mission in the cold bad coastlands. Your efforts there aided not only the galaxy team but the Pearl Clan as well. I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on space time rift somehow. If we're able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering about your origins. Though how we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. Remain true to the mission. If you notice that today potato mochi tastes a bit different, well that's because I used a Pokemon Slain to roast them. Bon Appetit! The birth of the new Lord Pokemon, what a sight that must have been if I only journeyed to the Fire Spirit Island to witness the event myself. I have a hard time imagining you making the trip on um, Basculin's back, Professor. Come on now, you know my coordination is so poor, I couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. And I can't dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin. Of course, I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Buscule Legion. That being said, we all do remember these wise words. The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end. And the strive I shall for the sake of my research. I will surely ride a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. Just you watch. The next day. Good morning, good sir. Come from the sky. Commander Kamado told me to let you know he awaits you arrival in his office. Johnny, I have your next order. You must go to Coronet Highlands to quell another frenzy noble Electro, Lord of the Hollow. Electro has prosperity to store up electricity in his body and unleash it. But since Electro became frenzy, those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. And we'll be enlisting the Pearls Clan set in securing your safe passage to Electro's seat. I sent a word to Irida asking, No, you don't have permission to go up the... I'll save it, as if I'll be stopped by the likes of you now. Out of my way. Who the hell is that? 
Hey, old boss man, Camaro. I thought it might have slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I took the liberty of stopping by anyway. Millie, where are your manners? Are we having an important conversation? Well, there's your issue right there, Adam, man. How exactly do you intend to discuss Electro without me? It might. The warden's here to weigh in. There's no more to discuss. We already asked Johnny to call the Lord of the Hollow. Oh, come on. It's me you're trying to humiliate here or the entire clan. Besides, you really think a filmsy little noodle can quell an electrode? Come on, I'm so silly sorry for this headless interruption. But hey, don't mind. It seems even security codes personnel I trained myself cannot stop one so capable of warning Millie. That being said, yes. It's clear that security court needs even further rounds of training from me later. Hear that, Millie? The security court will solve themselves to sleep tonight thanks to you. The commander's sumo moves can send even boulders flying. Hmm. Now, now, that will do. Johnny, you have your orders to see that the electrode is quelled. Warden Millie, of course, we would appreciate you help. If there's anything you might assist with. Now, go. Listen, Millie, the Galaxy team, well, at least Johnny is amazing. We'll prove it. Follow me outside. Alright, Johnny, go around with me. You bet. Millie, make sure you watch closely now. I know I can involve him now, I forgot about that. You see how good Johnny is now? Yes, no more sneering at him. Hmm. I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. So later, Johnny. Glad you have help, like always. Really shift yourself unless you want to get even more of a earful than you already do for. Oh, come on, Adam. Cut me some slack here. Johnny. Join me in the survey course office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. Your survey work will take you to the Coronet Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what pearls awaits. To take on the Highlands, you must achieve the 4th rank star or higher. You know how. Evolve Pokemon into other Pokemon. Use items to stun them or induce other effects in the wild. Complete such research tasks to raise your rank and aid any requests that might be found on the Professor's Blackboard.
Well, I gotta rank up, I guess. Mm, no, that's not quite right. It just needs a little extra something. Oh, just a boy I need. I could use some help coming with a new hairstyle. So I hit a real wall here. A Pokemon would be great for inspiration. I bet right now I'm picturing Miss Darius. If I could study on Mr. Up close, I'm sure I'd come up with amazing stuff. If you manage to catch a Mr. bring it back here, okay? What am I going to do? At this rate, I'll make a real fool of myself in front of Colan. Oh, hello. You're one of the kids from the survey corps. You might actually be just the person I need to help me out with my little research. My boy, Colin, and I are planning to head to Prelude Beach at night and try to find ghosts. A rumor to hunt the play, but ghosts scare the daylights for me. My son, he's terrified of them. I think we could just go and call it a day, but no, I'm afraid. His little heart is set on his. But, uh, you know, fella, stay scared of ghosts forever, right? It's just so tragic for my boy, I mean. So maybe if I study up on ghosts, I can find a way to help my boy conquer his fears. If you got any research that on Spooky Ghastly, that would be a good one. I'd be mighty grateful if you share it with me. Thought I had a Ghastly. I guess I didn't catch him. Alright, this is where we're going to stop for now. We'll continue on the next part of our adventure.